Hey guys, the truck race at Chicagoland, the Camping World 225, just ended, and Brett Moffitt wins back-to-back -back Chicagoland wins for Brett Moffitt after he won tonight and last year. Brett Moffitt finally gets um, the win that he actually deserves this year. This is his second technical win of 2019 with GMS, but... The first race that he won came at Sh at Iowa, which um, is only because he finished second and Ross Chastain, who who um, crossed the finish line first, um, got DQ'd after failing post-race inspection. So Brett Moffat gets his second win of the year, but the one that he really, really wanted because he needed to earn that win. He needed to dominate a race and not get that win gifted to him like it got to Iowa, even though he did not cross the finish line first at Iowa. So Brett Moffitt wins for GMS, pretty much an unsponsored truck. Brandon Jones gets second. Brandon Jones won stage one, and he's racing for Kyle Busch Motorsports in the 51 truck. And he's not a full-time truck driver. He um, races full-time in the Xfinity Series for Joe Gibbs Racing. A solid run by him, really good run. And he won stage one. Stuart Friesen gets third, another really solid top five um, run for Stuart Friesen. Not much to say about it, but um, yeah, he kind of took him four wide there during the race, and that whole four wide situation caused a crash. We'll get to that later. Harrison Burton gets fourth. Harrison Burton, another solid run, needs to 13 points out of making the playoffs now that Ross Chastain is only 10 points out of being in the top 20, which he'll make next week, so that's not, not a big problem. Well, not next week. I think the truck series has an off week. Austin Hill. Austin Hill won the poll for this race, his first poll ever in the in the truck series, and he gets a solid top five. He said he wasn't happy about fifth because he thought that they should have gotten a better finish or maybe won after starting on the pole, but he's just started off too tight in the Hattori Racing Enterprises truck. And he'll be racing the Xfinity race next week for Hattori. Todd Gillen finishes 6th, another Kyle Busch Motorsports truck. All three in the top six of Kyle Busch Motorsports. Todd Gillen, another strong run if he wants to make it to the playoffs. Um, he started off pretty terrible. He was way too loose. And they just kept fixing it. It was almost embarrassing. And he makes 6th place. Ross Chastain, 7th. Ross Chastain, another solid top 10 finish for that Nice Motorsports truck. Pretty much unsponsored as well, like Brett Moffitt's. And he gets a solid top 10, another top 10. If it wasn't for him being DQ'd at Iowa, which he crossed the finish line first, he would have all top 10s this year. This year, But he basically still does. Matt Crafton, 8th. Another top 10 for Matt Crafton, 10 in a row. Pretty solid. Anthony Alfredo and Dylan Luplin, 9th and 10th, both DGR Crossley drivers. And DGR Crossley has four um, trucks this weekend. But um, yeah, Anthony Alfredo, really strong run. He, he qualified 6th, was fastest in two practices. Dylan Lupton hasn't been in a truck since 2016. Good to see him back and get a great um, run. Sheldon Creed. Got loose, scraped the wall at the beginning of the race, but came back to get 11th. Not the run he he would have wanted, but still not bad for that GMS Racing number 2 Chevrolet. Tyler Dipple, 12th, a, a strong run for that 0-2. Um, pretty, pretty decent. Tyler Ankrum, Tyler Ankrum um, probably would have finished well inside the top 10, possibly the top 5, but he got a speeding penalty on the last pit stop, which caused him to drop all the way back, and he got back up to 13th. He had a really, really strong run with that DGR Crossley 17, and he and he was 6th when he um, pitted and got the penalty. Natalie Decker, the 4th of the DGR Crossley trucks. Um, she spun earlier, but managed to get back to the top 15. Gustine, a solid top 15 for that Young's Motorsports team. Grant Enfinger won the second stage, but... Um, they got four wide, and then they were all, you know, squirrely everywhere. And then um, Spencer Davis in the 44 truck for Nice Motorsports, Ross Chastain's teammate, kind of just pinched him towards the wall, which got them both contact. And, and Fingers Knight was basically done after that good thing he got that stage win. 
And then Spencer Davis, after pinching them, pinching end finger to the wall, Spencer Davis um, slid all the way down and rammed into Austin Wayne Self, causing them both massive amounts of damage. And Austin Wayne Self was having a strong run, but unfortunately that got taken away from Spencer Davis. Spencer Boyd, strong run. Not really. <laughs> Johnny Sauter. Um, those Thor Sport trucks, um, they were not good. Johnny Sauter under the hood all night long. Uh, tough run for Johnny Sauter. Um, 18th, not good at all after being suspended last week for the incident with Austin Hill. And um, another Thor Sport truck that was uh, Matt Crafton um, basically died out in the middle of the race, so that wasn't good. And um, Grand Enfinger, the other Thor Sport truck, didn't have any problems under the hood like the others, but he did get damage and had a bad finish. So you can see Josh Balicki, Jordan Anderson spun earlier, but he got another top 20 solid. Jennifer Joe Cobb, Jesse Awuji, um, Camden Murphy, and then there's Austin Wayne Self. He was having a strong run up, in up inside the top 10 for a while. Got some stage points, I believe, and just got... A, tons of damage by uh, by um, Spencer Davis after he pinched Grant Enfinger up to the wall. Then Mason Massey, and then you could see Spencer Davis down here in 27th after he got a bunch of damage from that incident after they were four wide and they were all everywhere. Joe Nemechek, Norm Benning, BJ McLeod, Joey Gase, and last in 32nd place is the other Thor Sport truck, the fourth of them, Ben Rhodes in the 99 Ford F-150, and the problem with him is, at the beginning of the race, the very first lap, very first corner, uh, barely on the back stretch, Ben Rhodes, um, he just blew up, basically, and um, some were thinking maybe he didn't hit his gears right, but as we go to his in-car camera, um, he hit them perfect, and it was just another under-the-hood problem for those Thor Sport trucks. So all four Thor Sport trucks having problems tonight, but um, three of them having under the hood problems when Endfinger had um, an incident on track. So yeah, there is the results for the Camping World 225 G Gander Outdoors Truck Series race at Chicago Land Speedway. Brett Moffitt goes back to back. And yeah, great job by Brett Moffitt. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.